Our worst nightmare in the end. Welcome in this new video. We are currently canoeing in the La Veranderie Wildlife Reserve here in Canada, more precisely in the province of Quebec. In this video, you will see our adventures and you will discover our budget, our itinerary, useful tips, our struggles, and so on. First, to reach La Veranderie Wildlife Reserve, we had to rent a car. This time we are renting a Turo to this beautiful car for 160 for the three days of our weekend trip because we are going on a kayaking expedition this time. Turo is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing company. It's an alternative to Communoto. Compared to Communoto, you should pay oil. Nevertheless, you have more kilometers included. From Montreal to La Veranderie Wildlife Reserve, you'll need around four hours car drive depending on traffic. It's here that we'll be collecting the canoes to start the expedition. One canoe rental costs $37 per day. Then on top of that, you have to add the camping and sit-back park fees, which cost around $15 per person and per night. We are carrying the canoes to the car. It was a great warm-up because we'll have many porters on the circuit. We are currently putting the canoe on top of the car, which is kind of tricky, but we're trying to figure it out. Thank God you can ask the receptionist to help you out. They will anyway provide you instruction on how to tie a canoe to the top of your car. We had to pay $25 for the rent of the full set. And we were all set! Now we are driving to the departing point where we'll put the canoe in the water. But it's raining! <laughs> it's like a real shower. We were a bit afraid for the canoes, so we stopped to check if the rope and canoes were still holding. In the end, we arrived safely at Grand Barrage. We are at the beaching point where we'll start our journey here in La Résophonique La Vérandière. We had to carry a lot of equipment with us. Indeed, during the entire trip duration, you have to be self-sufficient. You are on your own, which means you should carry your camping gear, food, water, survival kit, power banks, and so on. I'll make a separate video on what to bring on your kayak canoe trip. We've been loading the kayak, the canoes, and we are almost ready to go, but first we'll do a small lunch break because it's already around 3 p.m. and we haven't eaten yet, so we are starving! But the sandwiches look delicious, they're happy! We bought food for 3 days, 2 breakfasts, 3 lunches, 2 dinners. It cost us $175 in total for 4 people. Bon appétit! Our chef cooked us delicious vegetarian meals. We had sandwiches, salads, and soups. Are you ready, guys? Yeah! <laughs> and here we go! La Vérandrie is the world's largest canoe camping reserve. It is huge. This is a paradise for all canoe campers. You can do trips for up to two weeks in the reserve. Personally, we've been kayak circuit 30 in the park, which is a loop of 45 kilometers. We've completed it in three days. We felt like we were the only ones. There was no one around us for kilometers. It's the perfect getaway to disconnect. There is no cell phone data at all. Hey guys, we're thinking, we're thinking. <laughs> we're not thinking. We need just to beach the kayaks because now we need to carry them for a while until we reach the other side of the forest. We tried several portage techniques. 
I still cannot tell which one is the best. It's kind of heavy. Because we needed to bring our canoes and equipment through the forest, this is why, depending on the distance of the portage, we will do round trips. First with the canoes and then with the equipment or vice versa. Some portage were extremely hard and demanding. You had to go uphill and downhill. It was intense. The forest sceneries were beautiful. On the trail 30 that we are doing, it's a loop. You will have to carry the canoes at least seven times on different distances like 20 meters, 600 meters, and so on. But in total, it's not more than one kilometer, 500 meters. On the first day, we did around 10 km. On the second day, we had to do around 20 km. Finally, on our last day, we canoed 15 km. Most of the camping spots are not reserved. The politic is first come, first served. Therefore, you might sometimes paddle a bit more than expected before settling on an available campsite. But it depends on the season. Early September, we did not really have any trouble with that. You'll have to park your canoe by removing it out from the water. Campsites are welcoming and well equipped. They are spacious enough to fit at least two tents. Some can fit up to five tents. You'll find this information on the map you'll receive at the reception. On each side, there is a fire station to prepare your delicious dinner and for boom fire night. Some campsites even have a beach. Surprisingly, there is a pooping station available. Even in the middle of nowhere, you have toilets. Which was kind of remarkable. Now we are building our tents. When the camp was his tall, we could relax and enjoy the evening. I'll do a quick, 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 quick bath, quickly, <laughs> just to feel fresh, and then I warm up. Through our three day scanner trip, we experienced various kinds of weather rainy, cloudy, and cold, sunny, and warm. When the sun was out, we would jump in the water. We were also blessed with beautiful sunsets. In the evening, we would cook dinner by the fire. our dinner. For tonight we have a miso soup and noodles is so yummy! What a bit And for dessert we have s'mores. Planning, planning, planning. Before going to bed we will tie up our food in a tree to avoid animals stealing it during our sleep. Nighty nighty, time to go to bed. Peace, peace, me, bye. Good morning. It's around 9 p.m. 
I'm super well in my big, big sleeping bag. Every morning we would pack everything. Breakfast time! One last cup of tea. Almost ready to launch the kayaks, the canoes, sorry. <laughs> but before, let's brush our teeth. We still keep hygiene here. <laughs> We're about to leave after this <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we are about to leave <laughs> to go back to <laughs> We're about to leave to go back to our final destination where we let the car basically the car park. Count your breath and count! <laughs> Good then! And this is how our kayaking trip ended. It was super fun, really intense. Anyway, explore surroundings. Busy business!